All right, here we are at the Outback Motor Speedway. A little different tonight. We ran no late models. It was all street stocks and modifieds. I told Alan here he's been uh, undefeated so far this year in the street stocks and the modifieds. I said I should have went ahead and wrote his name on the check. He told me don't do it so quick, but uh, I think I should have already did it. But uh, what do you think? They gave you a little bit of run, but you cycled your way back up. Uh, Junior looks like he's probably got a car to run with you, but got in a few wrecks. He charged back up there and ended up second. But uh, a good race overall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was fortunate I wasn't off any at all just kind of rode safe there and that means a lot when you don't come off you know you got a big advantage when you don't have any wrecks and uh, you know sometimes things just work out that's all but we're, we're no faster than they are we just kind of persevere that's all well you're smooth and uh, them cars are a little harder to drive and I think you got a lot of experience there with that and that, that helps you but you got a good car underneath of you too so uh, overall you know it was a good uh, night to kind of take off a little bit from the late models let everybody revamp but uh, we're going to hit it pretty big with them coming back with the silver dollar nationals then the uh, Rodney Franklin memorial race which is going to be a big race and then We'll take a week off and rest and in the world. Yeah, I know you got some big stuff coming up in January. We're all looking forward to that. This was a lot of fun here tonight running these cars. Like you say, they're uh, not quite as fast as the late models, but they're a little harder to drive. you got to use a lot of finesse, and it'll test your patience a little bit because they're a little top-heavy and they want to tip. But um, they're, they're a lot of fun to drive. I almost prefer driving these. They're just, they just test you a little bit more. But i uh, got to thank David Kaiser and his family and uh, Anderson Race Cars and Roy Anderson for sponsoring this deal tonight. Uh, real nice deal to do this. And, uh, you know, thanks to you and everybody here at Outback. And, you know, Happy New Year to everybody. Yeah, I'm glad you got them in. I was going to get Roy in. Roy's been helping us out here the last couple of years. And then between David and his wife Holly coming in here and bringing some food from time to time, uh, yeah, this is really getting to be a good group of people and everybody having a good time, and, uh, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's it. You know, not a crossword amongst anybody here tonight that I've heard. Everybody's having a good time. That's what it's all about. When you can race and have a good time, what else is there better? All right, here we are, back with second place finisher, uh, Junior Cooper. I think, uh, I thought maybe you had the car to finally beat Alan Saggy. Y'all gonna let him beat you all, all year in these street stocks and uh, modifieds? I don't know, I think it was running good. I time trialed better than him and uh, got beat in the heat race. And then I, I just kind of laid back in the heat race trying to stay out of trouble and got collected a lot. And I, I don't know. I just thought I had the car to beat in A main, and he beat me. <laughs> yeah, well, you come back and got second, so you was coming on there, but a little, uh, a little too little, too late. Yeah, I mean, I knew my car was good, but I just, I think I just laid back a little too much. <laughs> well, anyhow, you had a good run. Yeah, yeah, it was good, and uh, glad to finish second to Allen, and uh, hopefully we can do that in the late models sometime soon. I don't know. <laughs> You can get a win. Yeah. That's, that's what we need for you to get in the late models, a win. Yeah, I like to get a win, but finish second to Allen feels like a win. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. All right, here we are with third place finisher, uh, Keith Hawkins. Uh, had a pretty good run. You was up there second there for a while. I think one wreck kept you from being second, wasn't it? Yeah, at the end of the race when they crossed the line, the power cut off, my car jumped out. And I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, the car run excellent tonight. I'm real pleased with it. Well, you've been running pretty good this whole year. You've uh, getting closer and closer in the late miles. Wouldn't surprise me if you would make an A main. And we got some big ones coming up here. Oh, I would love to make an A main again. It's been how many years? It's been a long time since I've made one. Well, you're running about as consistent as you had so far this year. So uh, don't want to push that, uh, push you out of that. But want to make sure we thank Roy Anderson. He's come here for a couple of years, and he kind of helped sponsor this whole street stock deal we ran here tonight. They were the Top end, I guess, the modifieds, and then we didn't run the uh, late models, so a little change of pace. Yeah, it was. I real, really appreciate Roy stepping up and sponsoring tonight. It made for a good time. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Thank you.
I'm here with the winner of the Modified event, sponsored by the Mid-Atlantic Modifieds, Alan Saggy. You're on a roll tonight. <laughs> yeah, I guess we had a pretty good night, huh? Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, when I watch you, you know, operate these cars, it, the eye-hand coordination is so important to be able to execute from one lane to the next. Yeah, you got to sort of keep calm and keep yourself under control. You got to drive hard, though. I mean, if you, you can't slow down too much, they're going to drive by you. But... Um, in the street stock feature and a modified feature both, I was never off the track once. That's a big advantage. And we still didn't beat them by a whole lot. I mean, you got to you gotta drive with precision and keep the car in the lane. And a little bit of that's luck on not getting collected when somebody else comes in your path. Some nights it's your night, some nights it's just not. Tonight, you know, you guys ran street stocks and then modifieds. But on a regular night, you jump into the late model. How much of a transition is that? Because the late models are so much faster than the street stocks and modifieds. Yeah, no doubt, Danny. The, uh, the late models do drive quite a bit different. The modifieds and the street stocks are a little bit similar. Um, the modified has a couple little characteristics of the late model, but the late model is way quicker and things happen a lot faster. And, you know, they, you're making faster lap times. So you do have to drive them a little bit different. Tonight's event is being sponsored by the Mid-Atlantic Modifieds. Ryan's here tonight. You're not in a car yet. But would you consider running a modified on a dirt track? Well, it's funny you ask that because I did have a guy call me about doing that. And that, that may happen next year. We may run a few modified races. I, I like those cars. They kind of intrigue me watching them. I've never driven one. But uh, Ryan Pennington and his group are doing some great things with that Mid-Atlantic Modified Series. I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this race here tonight at OMS. And uh, glad to have him here. Uh, that guy's doing some great things. It kind of reminds me of what you did with the Steel Block Bandits a few years back. It's a really Really good uh, game plan, and I think he's really bringing the modified uh, division to prominence around this tri-state area. And he's giving it a big boost, almost single-handedly. I mean, he is the guy that is doing that. Uh, but he's getting a lot of support. A lot of people are following his lead, and I hope to see it continue. Absolutely. I'm <laughs> Ryan, tonight, you know, Alan Saige was clearly the class of the field. He won both the features tonight. Uh, thank you for being a part of uh, Outback Motor Speedway with Big Block, or excuse me, the Mid-Atlantic Modifieds. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it and, and glad to be here and glad to see Modifieds getting bigger somewhere else. So uh, the more we can do to help them go along, the better. I'm happy about it. And congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just in a few weeks here, we're going to have the car show coming up at the Winchester Mall. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, just very happy to have us back here. At, uh, I can't remember how many years. I think it's been 15 years or more, maybe even 20 years since we've been back in Winchester Mall. So uh, it's going to be a game changer, I think, for up here and getting racing back in the area. You kind of let pick it up again. So I'm excited for it. Outstanding. Well, good luck this year, and I'm sure you will see you again here at Outback Motor Speedway. Definitely. Can't wait. I'm here with Jackson Franklin, who finished second in the Mid-Atlantic Modified Featured Event. Jackson, you looked pretty good tonight. Yeah, I looked pretty good. I was kind of in the middle, kind of in the front the whole race, and the car handled pretty good. The track, you know, did it change that much tonight? Because it's really cold tonight, and sometimes when these guys open this door up, it can throw uh, a little curveball at you guys. Yeah, past couple of weeks got really hot in here and made the track real tight and real sticky, but this race tonight, it was pretty good. You know, going down the, the road here a little ways, you got some bigger events for you guys. You know, I know you like to run in the late models as well, but is there is there a race that you definitely have your eye on that you want to pick up that win? Uh, I like to win that Franklin race because that means a lot to me winning that because if he was my great uncle, that would be nice to win it. Dean finished third in the Mid-Atlantic Modified Featured Event. Dean, you actually looked really good tonight. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about some of the things that you guys have been doing to try to make your car better. Just trying different co tire combinations and little adjustments here, little adjustments there, and it seems to be working. It's The car's really picked up here in the last couple weeks. Eye-hand coordination is so important, not only in a realistic car, but here 
on this track, it's even more important. It is. It's if you don't have it, then you're not going to do nothing here. It's just the hand-eye coordination is so important. And if, like I said, if if you don't have it, then you're not going to do very well. You also run a late model. How different is that between the modified? You have to tiptoe more around the corners in the modified than the late model. The late models seem to stick better in the turns, and they just come off the turns a lot better than the modified. I know you got a lot of people that you need to thank to help you each and every week. Yeah, I do. Uh, I got to thank Brent, Scott, Jackson, and Donnie. They all help out. Just one big group effort. Outstanding. I'm